Ah, the time has arrived. Time to start a new lawn from seed. Uh, we've really up landscaped the garden. Uh, and now I'm gonna seed the lawn. So it's really exciting. Uh, the ground's pretty stony. Uh, we did have a lot of stone previously in our, uh, how we had the garden last time. Um, we've tried our best. Uh, really tried our best to clear all the stones, but uh, there's so many. Uh, I'm gonna rake over again one last time and then I'm going to sow the seed um, so I'm sure it'll be it'll be absolutely fine and um, so I'm, I'm going to break the surface again and I'll speak to you in a bit uh, raking's done quite pleased with it Left the piles there just so that you can sort of see, you know, how much came off uh, the surface. There's a bigger pile, I think just, yeah, just there, you see. Uh, it's not too bad, not too bad, I'm quite happy. I mean, it's one of them where you're raking, you know, you think you're getting it and then, and then you pull up a big brick or something, there's so much stone, uh, but I'm happy, I'm happy. You know, it all adds to the drainage that, <laughs> that's, my, that's going through my head now, so I'm quite pleased. I mean, I could put, you know, a, a sand dressing over the top, top dressing, a sand-based top dressing, but, you know, I, I'm not too, I'm not too worried. You know, I want this to be a domestic lawn, a tutorial of what can be achieved, you know, as what most people would be able to do uh, in the garden, despite, you know, I, I wouldn't, I don't, wouldn't imagine everyone's bringing in uh, a top dressing. Uh, ready for a lawn they're probably going to dig it out rake it and want to see how to sow it and get the best results from doing it that way uh, that's my viewpoint anyway on this tutorial i think uh, good results can be achieved so uh, yeah i'm quite pleased so i'm going to clear out those uh, mounds of stone and soil uh, probably just put it in my uh, flower beds there and then um, we'll get started sowing the seed Okay, that's all clear. So I'm going to cast the seed now on the, the new lawn. Um, I'm using Barrenbrug Extreme. Uh, that's a blend of perennial ryegrass. Um, I was going to pay for a more expensive bag of seed and you think it would be higher quality, but um, I've used Barrenbrug before on a number of customers and the results have been really good. So I thought it's really affordable. So it'd be really good to use that in, in a tutorial, you know, for a domestic lawn. So that's what we're going to go with. I'm really happy. It's a mix of perennial ryegrass. I'm going to be casting it quite thinly, but evenly. Uh, you don't want to over sow. Uh, that can cause problems. So just a nice thin. It's always better to under sow than to over sow if you're worried. Um, and you can always top dress, add more seed later on. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'll take a picture or obviously film myself um, doing that. Um, and then after I've sowed all the seed, um, I'm going to be covering it over with some um, peat-free organic compost, just to just to keep a bit more moisture in um, for the seed, uh, but mostly just to protect it from birds. You don't want them coming down and having a feast. And I have found that the germination rate is much better when you um, cover it over with compost um, rather than just raking it in the surface lightly so that's what we'll be doing so I'll do that now that's all sown now I'm um, seeded the whole lawn and um, you can see in parts of I've over sown um, you know, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna go over with the compost and where I think it's a bit over, over seeded, I'll just rub it with my glove, you know, move it around a bit and cover it with the uh, compost as I'm going over. Don't wor worry about standing on it. You know, just, I mean, try your best to put the compost down and stand on the compost as opposed to the seed, but yeah, it's, it, it's fine. I've never had any problems walking over the seed. Uh, I'll try and show you what I felt was a nice um, distribution of seed to, as opposed to, overseeding and I think just this spot here hopefully I can move the camera without causing them any motion sickness for you uh, let's see uh, 
it's hard when it's all opposite. Um, I mean, you'll probably be able to tell it yourself where it's a bit thinner there, it's, I'm happy with that, and where it's a bit more overseeded there, so I'll just rub that in with my glove uh, as I'm putting the compost down. <laughs> I hope that, um, that showed up anyway. And it's just started raining, which is perfect, so it can, um, it can start watering in for me. So I'm gonna cover it in compost, and I'll catch you in a bit. I just thought I'd turn the camera around actually, just to show you where, uh, you know, this area all here is, is absolutely fine. And then you can see here, you know, that's, that's overseeded really. Um, so I'm gonna cover the compost um, now, put that down. Uh, the whole area has been um, turned over. The soil was turned over initially um, because obviously we were building walls, um, which was causing, you know, you know, when we were mixing the cement, it was obviously pooling a bit, so we've turned it all over so as not to have any problems because of um, dry cement in there um, or hard surface or, or building sand, anything like that. So we did turn it over because I don't think I've mentioned that either so far. So yeah, I'll start spreading the uh, compost. And that's all done. All covered in a thin layer of the organic compost. It went down quite nicely. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, it's a little bit more fibrous than the peat style, uh, the, the peat uh, based compost. Obviously, we're, we're moving on personally um, to organic, so it's a little bit more fibrous, a bit harder to work with, a little bit more smelly, but um, it's fine. Yeah, I'm happy. It's going to provide a nice mulch, even a source of nutrients as well. Uh, so I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, coverage wise, um, I mean, I, I haven't even measured this lawn, I just eyeballed it. And I think I used, well, I did use 50 litre bags of um, compost. Um, so, you know, you could coverage that, depending on how thick you put it down, you can get between four to six square metres of coverage, depending on how thickly um, you want to cover yours. I mean, I just eyeballed it in six bags and it's taken six bags. So yeah, pleased with the results. All that's left now is to water it in. I mean, it's quite laborious, spreading compost over the surface you know if you had a big lawn it's fine for a small lawn like this um, if you had a large lawn you might want to just sow the seed with a, a spreader and um, i mean instead of covering it with compost you might cover it with a fleece just to keep it a bit protected give it a bit of heat it's july now the soil is going to be nice and warm we expect warm days although it's just been raining this last week but to be honest we needed it we've had a long dry spell uh, and so I'm hoping it rains now <laughs> to save me watering in a lot. Um, so yeah, I'll do a video of how to water, how much to water. Um, yeah, I'll explain that then. Okay, 